Hey guys, so today I have a uh, flip through of the Filofax uh, personal size original um, black patent organizer. Um, so this is how it comes. Um, it comes in this little plastic sleeve and um, I ordered mine from it's either quill.com or quills.com, I can't remember, but I paid about 50-ish dollars for it, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So that was kind of a normal shipping box and everything. Um, but once you get that off, um, this is what it looks like. Um, as I said, it's the patent, but I don't think, um, <laughs> for comparison's sake, I got this um, <laughs> patent shoe. Um, to kind of show you so obviously the patent I feel is a lot more a lot shinier um, than this leather um, there is a they call it a monochrome in the um, non patent line but um, that one has a white um, snap buckle here so I prefer this one it has the full measurements on the Filofax website but this one is approximately five and a half by seven and a half and let's see here maybe say an inch and a quarter wide um, so it has the two rivets on the side here for the rings and the back just looks like that um, has the snap here that says um, Filofax, the original, established 1921. So I really like that little bit of history there. So you open it up, and it's basically one sort of thick piece of leather that's been sewn. And this is um, kind of the raw underside of the leather. There isn't any fabric there. Uh, silver rings, obviously. And there's this one pocket here. It has these credit card slots, um, which are just holes in this piece of leather. And um, another one down here, then the pocket, as I mentioned. Um, this elastic band here, the two pencil or pen holders. Um, it's stamped here, which I really like. It says, again, Filofax, the original, established 1921. And it says Filofax, made in the UK. Personal organizer, spelled with an S and real leather. And so the actual um, inserts that it comes with, it has this plastic fly leaf which has the sticker on it that I'll have to try and get off with Goo Gone or something. Um, has this little piece of paper here again that says the Filofax, the original, made in the UK with the um, part of the British flag on it. So I really like this just as a design feature so I might I might laminate this just to preserve it a little bit. It has these six tabs, they're just numbered, and there's nothing in between them, as you can see. It has a to-do list, um, has this little bubble up here that you can put down the category, and um, little circles down the side here that you can check off each item. So there's four of those, double-sided. There's this white lined um, note paper. So there's eight of those, again, double-sided. There's this graph paper, and there are eight pages of that. There's some blank paper, again, eight pages. Some blue lined note paper. There's eight pages of that some green note paper, another eight pages, um, some pink, and then we have some um, contact sheets here and this has another bubble, it says name, address, um, telephone, mobile, and email. So there's eight for that. Um, and then we get into the um, sort of diary pages. This is the 2015 Filofax Week on Two Pages diary. And that's just like a 
I guess, label, like if it came separately. Um, this says, again, week on two pages, has the 2015 year at a glance, also the 2014 and 2016. It has your personal information, so your name, address, telephone, mobile, email, business address, bank, uh, national insurance, your passport number, expiry date, driving license, car registration, insurance company policy, medical insurance, doctor, dentist, um, national health number, which obviously doesn't apply. Uh, other, um, says your blood group, uh, case of emergency. Um, this is the sort of thing where I wouldn't fill this out top to bottom because I'm always worried that I'll lose the agenda and some unscrupulous character will pick it up and um, sort of steal my identity or information or whatever. So anyway, that's just my um, thoughts on that. It has the same um, sheet, but in um, French, also in German, in Spanish, and Italian. And then it has a list of the European Union members for 2015. It has, um, obviously, the country, the capital, the um, currency, the GMT, so the time zone, and then the dialing codes. Uh, it has the national holidays. Um, so, for example, it doesn't say what the holidays are, but it says, I guess, when, they, when the national holidays are. Uh, also has more international countries. Um, has the U.S. down here. Um, Russia, India, Brazil, so kind of, I guess, the major ones. Um, same thing with the holidays. Has notable dates. Um, so I guess you could refer to maybe what these dates are and then they might line up. Has Canada Day, Independence Day for the U.S., uh, Boxing Day, etc. It has religious festivals, so it has Christian Western, Christian Eastern Orthodox, which is interesting. Islamic, Hindu, Buddhist, Sikh, Jewish, and Chinese. Uh, just some blank space for notes. Um, this has a personal organizer registration, which um, if anyone has any anecdotes about a lost organizer being returned through this um, mechanism, I'd love to hear it. Um, but apparently, Filofax says, you know, free thank you gift if you find and return this organizer and then it has different telephone numbers and um, I guess the registration number that the owner would um, get from Filofax. Um, has a survey here, um, some e-accessories, so um, I don't know, I guess if you want to combine your Filofax with a tablet or something. Um, has some notes and then we get into the um, the diary pages. Um, so this is a week on two pages. Um, it has a box up here for this week. Uh, begins on Monday and um, it has like the days of the week and the month in different languages. It has the number of the week. Um, it has this kind of what dates of the month this week covers, which I don't know if that's really necessary, but um, it has different holidays, um, and I guess these little country symbols like UAE, um, let's see, January 3rd, what are you? So apparently, if you refer back here, January 3rd is some sort of holiday in the UAE, so it's nice that you don't have to remember to look at this, that it would show up right there. Uh, what else? Oh, it has the different phases of the moon. So there's a lot of information um, contained in these pages. Um, my preference would be probably not to have a week on two pages, but to have months uh, instead. And I know that you can get month on two pages and just swap those out. Um, and most people, if they're, pro if they're using this as their primary means of keeping track of appointments, the week is probably more useful because you have more space, um, but it would be nice, I mean, that would be an extra, I can't do math in my head, but what, 24 pages, give or take, for double-sidedness um, to include the months. Um, so I would be happy to sacrifice 
some of those pages maybe. So when we get to October, it has the um, reminder for your um, refill for the next year. Uh, more advertising. I remember Day Runner always had a lot of that type of thing in theirs. And you get to the end, it goes into January a little bit. Um, and just a couple more pages of notes. Last reminder to reorder. And it just, I guess, tells you what the diary contains. Um, so it has another little plastic fly leaf here. A um, transparent ruler that can snap out and, you know, you can use it as a bookmark for wherever you are. And finally, um, I was happy to see this. I've ordered spares of these for, like, my Kate Spade planner, for example. Um, and I keep, like, I don't know, just store coupons and that sort of thing. Um, so I think these are very handy. Uh, then at the very back here we have a little jot pad and um, it just slides into this hole here. There's another one down at the bottom and then just this pocket that you could use. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. Um, I really like the overall quality of the planner. I wanted something that was actually leather, not like the Safianos or whatever. Um, and I really like, again, the kind of vintage-y feel of these, since they've kind of retained their original style. Um, I like that the patent isn't, like, super shiny. Um, I mean, to me, this is kind of just, like, really nice quality leather. I don't have a non-patent original. Um, I have the gold one, but I don't think that's a fair comparison. Um, so I don't have one of the matte ones that I can compare it to. Um... As far as the inserts go, I like the note pages and the to-dos. I primarily use my planner as a means of keeping track of lists and um, to-dos and that sort of thing. So I don't need um, all these weekly pages. I'll probably take them out um, because I still use uh, my Google Calendar and my work email uh, to keep track of appointments and that sort of thing. Um, and I'll probably make my own dividers as well. Um, these don't feel super sturdy, they just kind of feel like paper. Um, I think the actual quality of the paper is fine. Um, it doesn't feel like rough, it's not like the heaviest, most premium paper, but um, when you do get paper like that, it's going to weigh more and, um, you know, take up more space. I just wanted to show you for comparison's sake, um, this is my Kate Spade here. And if you can see, they're the same um, sort of refill size, um, so personal and file of facts. Um, but you can see the Kate Spade just sticks out a little bit. And of course it has a zipper, um, so whatever your personal preference is. Um, and then I also have the Kiki K. Um, this is the Time Planner Medium, maybe, or like the... I don't know, the smaller of the ones that have the snap, I guess. Um, so this is obviously a similar type style, but you can see again that this one is definitely wider. Um, the Filofax, I think they're both about the same um, length here. I'll put them on their side there. If I can... There we go. Um, so that's what they look like. Um, so yeah, so I like the Kiki K, but um, I wanted something a little bit more, I guess, subdued for um, bringing to work with me, so it wouldn't be so obvious. Uh, but anyway, that is the um, flip through, and um, if you have any questions or um, would like any more comparisons or whatever, just let me know, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.